one. List view adapters are used with data from files. Two. On this web page, you can download a zip file. The particular file used was the first one, for national data. Once the file is downloaded, it should be extracted into a folder, say data. 3. A Python file will be written to read the data in the folder, with that name. All data files have a form of y, o, b, year, t, x, t. To see the structure of the file, you can open one of the files in a text editor. The data is comma formatted, which is the reason we split at comma. For female and male, we create two lists, f and m, which are lists of tuples. 4. Next, we change list of tuples to list of strings, with same names. This way, we do not have to write code for argument conversion in the list adapter. Finally, there is some test code which shows how the function can be used. 5. In the application's Python file, these are the imports. The root is based on box layout. The list item button is imported to create subclasses for the three list views. Each list view will be associated with a list property. Finally, the function are lists in the module B name is imported. 6. The three list item button subclasses for the three list views are created. 7. In the root, we have three list properties for the three list views. The first one, D1, will have all the years in the data from 1880 to 2013. The Python range function goes from first number to last number, minus one. The D2 and D3 are initialized as 100 empty strings. The reason we initialize them with empty strings is so that empty buttons are visible at startup for lists 2 and 3. 8. From the KV file, this function is called whenever a year is selected in list view 1. We try to read male and female data into lists D2 and D3 if we cannot, an error is written to the screen. The most probable reason is data is not stored in the correct directory, and thus we write the current directory name. Once you put data in that directory, the program should be rerun. 9. These functions are called when an item in list view 2 or list view 3 is selected. It just prints the text of the selected item. 10. The app code must exist for the main Python file. 11. In the KV file, we import the list adapter and the main Python file. In the last tutorial, we imported the list item button. But now we want to import the subclasses of list item button, which are in the main Python file. 12. We select the appropriate change function, depending on which item is selected. 13. List view 1 uses the list D1. Now, CLS points to the correct subclass. 14. List view 2 and 3 use lists D2 and D3. CLS points to the appropriate list item button subclass. 15. This is the result when the year 2013 was selected. The male and female lists have the top 100 names. You can scroll up and down the list. There are many ways to optimize reading of the files and make it independent of file system. We could easily create a new Python file to hold the lists. One particular implementation is shown at blind spot. 16. You can find additional information including the source code at pythonmobile.blindspot.com.